Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia's day five of our Marchese vocal method. Today, we're going to be finishing up our portamento study with exercises six, seven, and eight. Yes, these exercises are going to explore bigger intervals between our portamenti and put it all together with a nice triad version at the end. Voice with Julia, change your So as you're making the portamento between two notes of a bigger interval, you just want to be careful that you aren't, again, dragging the weight up from the bottom note to the top. Think about all that area in between one note to the next as almost decreasing in vocal weight. And sometimes you can use a little bit of a cue of going up a little bit softer to bring in more of that influence of the upper register. And you can just keep the idea of the spinning breath, the spinning line. Exercise six spans the interval of a fifth. So we're going to take this starting on middle C and going up through A and then coming back down again. Here we go. <laughs> Exercise seven, we're going to be doing the interval of a six. So you might feel that things are a little bit different here, but kind of lean in and see where you can expand that feeling of vocal registration, feeling that influence of the breath and the resonance at the same time towards the top pitch. And keep in mind those cutoffs. I always have to remind myself whenever I'm cutting off that I'm not going to squeeze and I'm going to release. So keep giving yourself this cue as we move into exercise seven. Exercise eight, we're gonna put it all together. First, we're gonna do a major triad. Then we're gonna do three note combinations, building the intervals. So again, keep in mind as you're moving to those higher notes that you're not dragging up the weight and that you're keeping the breath spinning. And this one will be a little bit different because we're releasing on the bottom note. But when you come down to the bottom, don't allow these muscles to sort of contract, even though it's in that easier part of the range. what I did on that last one. I used that C anchor and I played around with my registration on a few of them. Some I did more head voice influence, some I did more chest voice influence. And I want you to feel as we progress in these exercises that fluidity of registration, that there is that part of the range that can go from one side to the other depending on the phrase. So making sure you develop that flexibility in registration upon those passaggio points is really paramount. So what better place to do it than in the lower passaggio? To feel that shift that you can add a little bit more head voice 
And that's going to prove very important, especially as we explore the heights of our range later on, but that you still know how to come back into the chest voice influence when you want to use that. So allow yourself that flexibility, and this will really help you as we move forward in these exercises.